All right, guys, so we're gonna learn a little bit more about um, adding some bigger numbers, okay? So when you have numbers that are, um, that go into like two digit numbers and three digit numbers, sometimes it's hard to count on or count, um, count forward on a number line because, you know, if you're adding 300 plus 245, are you gonna go 301, 302, 303, 304? No, we're not gonna waste our time doing that. So we're going to learn a different way to um, add when our numbers are a little bit bigger, okay? And it's called regrouping. So it's kind of like, so re means again, and group means to pull things together. So we are kind of grouping numbers in different ways so that it makes it easier for us to add without having to count one by one, okay? So down here, we have 19. So I'm going to show you 19 as 110. Right, if we look at 19, it has a 1 in the tens place, and it has 9 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you can just draw a stick like this. You can just draw a stick just like that, and you can draw dots for your ones. Okay? So we have 19, and what are we doing to it? We're adding 3 to it. So I have 3 more that are going to come over here, but I can't have a one, and then how many are here now? How many ones are there now? If I had nine and I added three more, how many do I have now? I have 12. So I can't write my number like this. Don't write this, but I can't write that because that, that wouldn't make sense that 19 plus three is equal to 112. So I'm going to have to group my ones a little bit differently so that I can um, write a number that makes sense and get the correct answer, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get 10 of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I am going to make these 10 ones turn into a 10. You see how this is completely equal to this? So I'm not changing the value of the number. I'm not changing how much 19 is worth. I'm just regrouping it. I'm grouping it in a different way. So I'm going to literally exchange these 10 ones for a 10. Do you see how that's the exact same thing? So I'm going to take these ones and I'm going to exchange it for a 10. I'm going to put it with the other 10s. So now how many 10s do I have? I have two 10s and I have two ones. So what is that equal to? 22. 22, which is two 10s and two ones. So let me show you what this would look like. So we started with one 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones, and then we added three more ones, right? So what this looks like when you're drawing it is you're going to take these nine, and we're going to get one of those guys to make ten, and we're going to do this, and then we're going to draw a little arrow, and we're going to add another ten right here. So now these guys are gone. These ones are gone. I, I traded them in for a ten, so now I have two tens and two ones, okay? So now my answer is 22, okay? Let's turn to the back. Let's look at the guide to practice. So we're trying to find 27 plus 5 on this problem, okay? So we're using our 10s and 1s to add that together. So I started off with 27. This is where the 27 is, is right here, okay? And I'm adding 5 to it. So here's 5 more 1s. So remember what we said to do? What are we going to do? We're going to take how many 1s? We're gonna, if we go over 10 ones, if we don't go over 10 ones, we can just say, if this was 27 plus two, it would just be seven ones and two ones makes nine, right? So it would be 29. But this is gonna go over. Think about on a number grid, how we sometimes have to go to the next 10. So if I were adding 19 plus three, I would say 19, 20, 21, 22, right? So I would go over the, the teams into the 20s, okay? So let's look at this. So I'm going to take 10 of these ones because I know I know 7 plus 5 is going to be more than 10. So I'm going to take 10 of these ones. So circle the 10 right there. And that's exactly what they did here. And they're going to move that over here to make another 10. So now I have three 10s. And how many ones are left over? Two ones are left over. So now it looks like this. So do you see the progression? It was this. 27 plus 5, we traded in 10 ones for a 10, 
and we had two left over, so it becomes 32. Three tens and two ones equals 32. Okay, so now we're going to do a couple of problems down here. So you, you have your blank piece of paper, and you're going to draw exactly what we did here, okay? So let's do that for 15 and 8. So let's look. So we're going to just draw a little T-chart. You don't have to draw the whole box like they did. So we have 15, so we have 10s and 1s. So we have 15, which is 1, 10, and 5, 1s. One, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and then we're adding how much? 8. So that's going to go in the which column? The 1s column. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh-oh, well, that's too many 1s. Are we going to have to regroup? Yeah, we're going to have to regroup. So circle yes right there. We are going to have to regroup. So what does regroup mean again? Think about it. Think about it. It means to group differently. Group again, right? So I'm going to take 10 of these ones, and I'm going to trade them in for a 10. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm going to circle the 10 together, and I'm going to draw my little arrow because that becomes another 10. So now these guys are gone. They, are, they were traded in. They are not there anymore. So now I have two 10s and three 1s. Two tens and three ones. All right, so what's the sum? 23. I think they actually maybe want you to do one 10. And how many were here? How many were here? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it was really one 10 and 13 ones became two tens and three ones, just like that. Okay, so we're going to do one more together. Do another little T-chart right here. We have 10s and we have 1s. So we have 23. Let's draw 23. Two 10s and three 1s. Okay, and we're adding six 1s to it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if I add those 1s together, 3 and 6, what does that equal? What does that equal? 9. Well, can I make a 10 if it's only 9? No, so I don't need to regroup. The answer is no, I don't need to regroup. I have two 10s and nine ones, which makes what number? 29. So we only need to regroup when the number of ones goes over 10. When we can exchange 10 ones for a 10, we need to do it, okay? Because otherwise we end up with, with this right here where we have a two digit number in the ones place, and we can't do that. We know only one digit goes in the ones place, right? All right, so you are going to do only number three, four, and five on this page. So draw a line right there so that you remember, don't do any of the rest of them. We are gonna do them tomorrow. And if it's a little bit tricky, that's okay. You can rewatch the video or you can just come in tomorrow and we're gonna go over it a lot more because this is super important, okay? Um, so just do the best you can and I want to see what you understood. So I'll see you tomorrow guys.